Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video for you. If you are looking for a very classic program that used to be used for editing photos and creating videos, then say no more. What we're going to be doing is going to be showing you how to download and install an awesome program that I still use today called Picasa. It was a program from Google, but eventually transitioned into the web-based system that makes technically can still be done, but I really liked the original old program. So we're going to be showing you how to download and install it. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is go ahead and just open up a browser. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Edge, the latest new one that runs up by Chromium Base. Pretty pretty cool. And what we're going to do is go to a site called uptodown.com. And this is a very useful program when you're trying to look for a specific program that has older versions and newer um, on the times when they transitioned. So sometimes they'd say you have a free program that's always been free, then randomly jumped into a newer update, and now you have to pay for it. So what you, this pretty much does allows you to get older versions. So when we get up here, you can probably scroll down. We already find Picasa, but in case it does not come here on the top downloads, then we're going to go ahead and just go on the search bar right here, and we're just going to go ahead and type in Picasa, depending where you're at, and then there comes Picasa right here. Once you get there, there's older versions if you want to choose them that are in this list. It's, as you understand, it's a very old program. I think the last support was there in 2014, but I still literally use that today. So regardless, I'm going to go ahead and go back and use the latest version. That's the last version that they had was on July 31st, 2014. And I'm going to go ahead and select it. Uh, give it a little time. There might be a little ads. Be careful what you see. This is actually the correct one for downloads. Go ahead and select it. And give it a little time for it to download. Alrighty guys, so the program has been finished downloading. If it does come to a point and you already downloaded somewhere else, just be sure where it's downloaded to. Mine pretty much downloaded into my downloads. So there it is. In case I need it, it's taking a little second for the icon. There it is, it came up. But regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and open up from right here, in case you did not see it here. And give it a little time. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. You will need that to work. And here's the program that's finally up. The browser, I don't really need it anymore. I'm probably going to close that out. And all I need now is just to be running the program for Picasa 3 Setup. It tells you about the information. So you can probably read the terms and services and privacy policies. I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and just agree. This is the default destination for the folder. I would say just leave it as is unless you understand what you're doing underneath. You have a secondary hard drive and stuff like that. Then you know what I'm talking about. For the rest, just leave it as is and just press install. It'll take a little bit of a second for this to come up, and it's pretty pretty much done. Now it tells us the options right here. We want to set Google as your default search engine for your Explorer. You can check that if you want to. You can send anonymous. I'm actually going to take these couple things off, and I'll go ahead and just leave all these other shortcuts and go ahead and open up this program. There is one thing I want to enable that would actually be useful to help you. So let me go ahead and just finish this and let it load up. So what this does, it tells us if you want to search your whole computer. So when you have this selection, it literally can search it every single thing that existed in your c drive pretty much everything every single folder i don't want to choose that i'm only going to choose search by documents pictures and desktop so i'm going to press continue now these have selections right here for what types you want to um this is actually a web p you actually can check that that's very popular if you still use the microsoft edge it allows it to save those photos types and i'm gonna go ahead and press finish because if you want to set up the backup, I'm actually not going to set that up. I'm putting not now. And it's going to take you to their site. And they're pretty much going to tell you that it's a discontinued system. And I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and exit out. I really don't care about this at all. So here's the program. There's no photos that exist right now. If I had a photo, then you would have an option and you'll have to organize. What I'm actually going to do is go to some settings real quick underneath options. And there is one file type that doesn't want to come in. So these are a few other file types that are in the selections. PNG is a very popular program, um, not program, a type file for the, this program. That's very useful if you want to edit. A GIF file too, and a TGA also. I actually enable these by default. So you'll be able to find all of them. And then you'll have the more options. But pretty much this program is already installed. And if you want to learn more details, there's more videos for it. But you pretty much got this program installed on your computer. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.